Why is the bread burnt? Yeah. I thought that's how you, you like it. Huh? Thought in how? You left it in the baking machine for too long. Look at it. I don't like no, it. I don't know that said that's how you like no, it. No, 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 no. The, the, the brownie, you, you left it. For... What? Are you I kissing did. or hugging or what? No, no. Oh my god, you guys are kissing. No. Right? Eh, Alan? That's what's happening here, right? Eh, Chichi? Stop, you're embarrassing me. Embarrassing what? I saw you. I saw you. So don't even try to lie. I saw you. Don't lie. Chichi, what is the meaning of this? Eh? Is this why you brought her to this house? Wow. Well done. That's what you're being to me. Now, <coughs> hey! Eh? I can hear you all upstairs, man. Damn, what's the matter now? Please, ask your nephew who he was kissing just seconds ago. Ask him. What? Arlen? Bro, is this for real? Who's kissing who? <laughs> huh? Honestly speaking, Uncle, I don't know what is happening to my wife. Nothing is happening to me. In fact, you are the one happening to me at this point. Eh, Alan, you shut your smelly mouth! You know, get out of my house. You, get go! Out. Go to your room now, go! <laughs> oh, so this is it. You guys are protecting her now, right? You're protecting the husband snatcher, right, uncle? Look at baby now. Baby is not beautiful anymore. Baby is carrying a baby. Alan, this is it. Was, was, was this the plan? Eh, Alan? This is what you're doing to me now. No problem. I don't want to see you in this house again. Do you hear me? I don't want to see you in this house again. You reject me. You disgust me. Time is it? Alan. Oh boy. Eleven PM. Damn, man. You tried to sneak past me because I was cat napping. How can you score? Come on, man. Uncle, the doctor said you should stop drinking. What was the meaning of this? I said, listen, man, don't switch over to another topic, Alan. I mean, you know what this means for you who 
at this time, 11 p.m. That's a whole lot of trouble for you upstairs. Damn. Is she is she not sleeping yet? Oh, man, I, I, I heard her sobbing and crying, and I had to come downstairs, man. I mean, I, I panicked a little, and that's why I had to call you, but you never picked up. I didn't pick because I knew why you were calling. Oh. Uh, so how is baby? All in. I sleep or crying as usual. Man, you go find out yourself. <sighs> Look, you married people. I, I, I warned you, you know, just let me go up to my room and die. Uncle, please stop saying oh, this. God. Just let you go up to your room and die. You're just 59, so stop saying you're going to your room and die. And listen to me. You married people said that we either married ones, we're going to die early. And that you guys who are married ain't going to live like who knows forever. Well, what I see here between you and your wife, baby, is married people's uh, disease. Something like that. Bad news, man. Which is? Oh, boy. I like our tolerance, you know, and our um, endurance, you know, perseverance, maybe, who knows, patience, you know, all that, you know. Yeah. It's my business with all these married people anyway. Don't give me a crap about marriage, please, damn it. Oh, God. Stop now. You know I hate to see you in this mood. I came in all of a sudden you woke up and started crying. So are you saying I'm pretending? What I'm saying is that maybe you had a nightmare. It's just an example. Are you okay? Why are you crying? Alan, I'm hungry. I've not had anything to eat since morning. You just left me alone in the house and went to work. Baby, I went to work for our own good. Should I quit my job? I'm not saying that. I just don't like to be left alone. But Uncle Geoffrey is at home. Your uncle is an idiot. Nobody likes him. That's why he hasn't gotten married. And that's why they sent him back from America. Who told you they sent him back from America? His time was up and he came back on his own. That's a lie. He was deported. Did you see him with any luggage? Did, you, did he bring anything back? 
Now he just rushed to our house because we are the only people that will tolerate him. None of your relatives can tolerate him. Oh no, 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 Mali Vachas. It's true. You are right. Yes. Alain, Alain, I'm hungry. Can you can you please make fried turkey wings for me? Please. I should make fried turkey wings for you. Yes. By this time of the night. Don't check your wristwatch. I've been hungry since morning. Since morning when you left me. Please, and just and cut cut the wings into three places. Um, with cucumber. I really need cucumber. How am I supposed to do all that by this time of the night? I had a stressful day. Can I just freshen up and chill? And I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Please. Okay, no problem. Fried turkey wings, yeah? Yes. Cut oh. into three places. Cut into three places. Yes, we cook in there. No problem. <sighs> what is it again now? I've agreed to fry the turkey for you. I know, what is it? I don't know. I can stop so why crying. are you crying? I don't know. You don't know why you are crying. Oh, right, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. I'll, I'll, I'll find the talking for you. Oh, I'm coming. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. How are you doing? Doing good. I mean, damn. I could perceive that from down the corridor over there. What's that? I'm trying to talk to you to my wife. All these turkeys? Yes. Baby says she wants six pieces of turkey. That's what I'm doing. That's why her orders? Yes. How many turkeys are there? Six pieces. That's what she said she wants. For baby? Yes. Wow. But I didn't see her come downstairs or go up the stairs. Or... She asked me to do it for her. That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a problem with that? So what I told you about married people, you have sure become so humble and submissive to her. You become the worshiper and she's the goddess now. I told you. So at her beck and call, you run helter skelter up the hill and down the hill, frying African tech is for your goddess, baby. Six pieces. For your baby. Uncle, uncle, is there is there anything wrong with me frying turkey for my wife? Of course not, of course not. But let me tell you, you know how many girls I was with, for women, you know, ladies. You were there in the States with me on VC and in the visa and you saw them. None of them had problems with me. Monica, Rihanna. We had our Michelle, the other one, and the Italian chick, Clementina. You know them all. They were more than 15 of them. Clap for yourself. Mm -hmm. You impregnated 15 years abroad. My wife said I should fry turkey for her, and there is nothing wrong with me doing what my wife wants. Please. Hey, I swear to God, I'm going to have one piece of this, six pieces of turkey, man. African fried turkey. If heaven and earth falls, I swear to God, man, I'm gonna have a piece of that chicken. I mean, that turkey. Don't give me that, man. I swear. 
Well, you need to have to get some place to sever, get severed with that one. Chef in the world, I swear to God. Have a piece of that, man. Damn, you deserve one. Man. Mm. I love you, man. Oh, bro. Thank you. Wow. Mmm. Fried turkey is ready. Ah, uh, you mean it's uh, no, no, no. It's a little too much. Excuse me. I don't think I can eat it again. You don't think you can eat it again? Yes, it's just the, the aroma is too strong. I feel like if I eat it, I'll throw up. What have I done to deserve this? You know what it took me to prepare this? I know, I know, I'm sorry. At least, test it now. No, I can't. No, it's too strong. Alan, I asked for six pieces of turkey. This is five. And where are the cucumber slices? No, no, nothing is here. Baby, this What's is... What's this now? This is midnight. We don't have cucumber in our kitchen. As for the turkey, it's supposed to be six, but Uncle Geoffrey took one. I'm sure you cannot even finish three. Eat first now. Your idiot of an uncle stole my, my, my sixth piece of turkey and you allowed him? What is... Is he a thief? Like he's now stealing my stuff, Alan. I can't even eat it, so there's no point of... Like, the cucumber is not there, the, it's not complete. And it's smelling... Everywhere is smelling like fried chicken. I mean, fried turkey. Everywhere is smelling like fried turkey. What is it supposed to be smelling like? Fried snail? Why are you, why, why are you bent on stressing me unnecessarily? I'm not, I'm not. I, I'm sorry, but I can't eat it. I can't. I feel like if I eat it, I'll... Tr I don't feel like throwing up right now. <sighs> Please, can you just make... Yam porridge for me. Please. Baby, if I eat this, I'll throw up. I'll throw up. I already feel like throwing up. Please. Please. I know I'm stressing you. Please. Love you. <laughs> I perceive the aroma from up the corridor and decided to come over and see what's going on. Maybe something was burning or all that. You, you flipping up something? You know they sleep. Is everything okay? You know they sleep. What's that? No, oh, come on, I got cut snow trails now. They're better than the dogs, you know, the military, we used to use them to detect line lines, you know, pick them up easily. Oh, what is that you're cooking, man? I'm cooking yam for my wife. Six pieces of yam again? Mm. What, what? Yam porridge. Wow. Six pieces? Leave me alone now. My wife wants yam. That's what I'm doing. As, as you can see, I'm busy. Don't even beg me because I will not give you. Hey, nephew. There's no way I'm not going to taste this yam. I swear to God. You know, whenever you cook, I'm always tempted to taste it. If you like, swear to whatever. I'm not giving you this yam, okay? Let me just have a piece, man. man. No, you cannot. You will not. In fact, you can never. I'm your big bro, man. Damn. 
I mean, come on, give me a piece of yam, man. Let me just try and see if it tastes. Try what, uncle? You want to hit me with a spoon because of the piece of yam? You want to hit me with a spoon? Little bro, you little nephew? Uncle, go back to bed now. This yam is for my wife now. I can't give it to you. What's your problem? Damn. <laughs> it's gotten this far? You don't want to be your uncle's keeper no more. What do you mean by that? I'm going to bed, man. That's all right. I'm my uncle's keeper. You are in my house. You eat my food. So what, 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 what else do you want? Wow. So now you were trying to tell me that you can't give me a piece of yam to taste. You're not my nephew anymore. You're not my little bro. Uncle, your age grades are all snoring by now. So go to bed. This yam is not for you. Oh, stop now. What's up? What's up? You want, you want to fight me? Little bro, you want to fight me for yam? Uncle. Uncle. You want to hit me with that spoon? Uncle. Leave this yam. It's for my wife. Well, for real? Better go back to sleep. Ah, how can you be sleeping and say eh, the, the, the aroma uh, went through your nose? You woke up. Ah, I'm going to me. Go and sleep, sir. Uh, Alan. Alan? What is it? Yeah, I'll feel guilty if I have to go to bed and I can't help you do anything at all. You know, you got a lot of tedious schedule and you had to go to work as well. In the Uncle? Morning. I do not need the help. Go to bed. You will not see this here, Mo. If you like, you will not see this here. <laughs> so what's wrong with somebody trying to help one another? I mean, you know. I don't need help. Mm. Just go to bed. Huh? You you only help me when when Cameron, your wife is pregnant. You need to be up there with her and help cook the stuff. Don't you. worry, we we'll finish my yam. You only want to help me when I'm cooking. You need her. Baby, don't say that again. Don't say that again, else you want me to get angry. What do you mean by you're, you're not hungry anymore? But I'm not hungry anymore. After what I've been through? I'm not hungry anymore. Is, is that why you're yelling at me? Do you know what it took me to prepare this? I just asked for snacks, for biscuits. I said, do you have biscuits in the fridge? Simple biscuits. I didn't say you should cook anything Listen, else. listen, baby, listen. I am not ready for your nagging this night. For your information, no matter what, I repeat, no matter what, I will not cook again this night. And as for biscuit, we don't have biscuit. Alan, take this away from me. Take this yam away from me. You, 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 you're becoming too stressful. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to pour it away. I'm going to throw this thing away. Already? I'm sorry, I took so much time in the bathroom. Mm. I slept off. <clears throat> sorry, I'm so tired. Yeah, I can imagine it's 10 p.m. already. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. huh. Do you have brandy? Oh, do you have whiskey here? Alan, what's going on? What is chasing you from your home? What kind of question is that? Is it because I asked for a glass of whiskey? 
not that in particular, but lately you offered to drop me home after work and you spend hours here. And I know that you're a married man. Doesn't your wife complain? Because if it's me, I will raise hell. Or is it that she's out of town? My wife is in town. So why do you prefer to go home late? Is this an interrogation? Oh, come on, Alan. We're colleagues. We're friends. And if there's something that you need to talk about, you can always talk to me. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, well. But I know that it's only an unhappy man and a man who's running away from his family that would not want to spend time at home. I should be going. Alan, Alan, hold on. I'm not chasing you. See, okay, yes, I have brandy. Let me quickly go get you a bottle no, of glass. Wait. I'm fine. Alan, are you sure? Yes. Thanks for your time. Okay, at least a hug. Take care of yourself, okay? Thanks. Good night. Be safe. Call me when you get home, please. All right. Thank you. Alan, it's so late at night. Are you not sleeping? No. Did I wake you? I'm sorry, I needed to talk to someone. Alan, is everything all right? Like I said, I needed to talk to someone. That's why I called you. What's going on? Are you, are you having an argument with your wife? No. So why don't you just with her, have a conversation with her? I can't even gist with her. You know how stressful my job is? Plus Lagos traffic. No one wants to go through all that and come home to a nagging wife or a difficult husband. Now I see. You're having marital problems. Your wife is a nag. Um, so why don't you try and distract yourself? Get a book or or watch TV, you know, turn on the cartoon or something. I'm not a baby. I know what I want. I don't need no TV. I need someone to talk to, and that's why I called you. Ellen, but I'm tired. I'm really tired. You know how stressful today was at the office. I'm... Okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll talk. Just for you, I'll talk. <clears throat> So were you able to get something to eat? I'm sorry I didn't offer you dinner. But I promise the next time you come around, I'll cook something delicious and sumptuous for you. Can you cook? <laughs> what do you mean? I can cook anything. You can cook anything? Mm -hmm. Can you cook stone? 
Stone. Uh -huh. Shabi is here, you can cook anything. Can you cook stone? <laughs> Not be only stone. I will cook sand. Sand jollof and sand stew. <laughs> 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 it will taste like sand jollof now. What else? <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You just made me laugh. Yes. A man needs to come home to a cherry wife. A wife that can make him smile and unwind and ease off stress. Not a nagging wife. I'm almost depressed here. Okay, so here's what I think. Why don't you talk to her? I have a conversation. Tell her exactly how you feel. Tell her how uncomfortable everything she's doing is making you feel. No problem, I will do that later. But for now, let's talk about our sand and stew recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you're not serious. It's not only sand. I'll cook potato, potato. I'll cook uh, stone. Now, you know what? Just get off my phone. I'm going back to sleep. All right. Bye. Oh, God. Oh. Uncle, good morning. How was your night? Oh, great. Yours? Blessed. You are cleaning the kitchen already. So, I mean, I'm just helping out. I mean, or until you guys are able to afford a kit for housemaid. A housemaid? Uh huh. <laughs> Come on. My wife will never support that. She's high on the nuclear family thing. Hmm. Nuclear? No wonder. Is that the reason why I'm not welcome here? Because I seem so concerned somehow. No, you're not the problem here. She's getting used to you. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. So you guys were gossiping about me. So continue. I'm all ears. Baby, you are supposed to say good morning. Good morning, baby. Please, it's Mrs. Kanife to you. You can't be calling me baby. It sounds. Ugh. Oh, but madam, you are Mrs. Baby Kanife. I mean, we wanted to enjoy together. No one put a sun to it, isn't it, Colin? I mean, it's all the same. Uncle, what baby. she's trying to say is that. You calling her baby sounds awkward to her. It's like you are referring to her as your own baby. That's what she's trying to say. Really? Back in the stage when you visited, I mean, we all used to call us, say, hey, baby, what's going on? No, what's going on? All right. All right. Um, maybe her parents made a mistake. Somehow, they should have thought about it before naming her baby. Alan? Alan? Alan, he's insulting my parents now. He just insulted my parents now. Hey, Alan. I am not cut out for this. Baby, that's your husband. Face him. Nag with him. All right? Then go on, I'm out of here. All I have the rebound. Alan, what did I say? What did I do wrong? Hmm? I was just standing up for myself and he walked out on me. What's that? You're becoming unnecessarily dramatic. Can you just slow down? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, Alan, really? Yes. Okay. You guys were discussing about getting a nanny. Do you think that will help? Of course. You need a helping hand, considering your condition. Even when you put to bed. For instance, when I'm at work, you need someone around you. So let's get a help. Okay. 
So do you know where to find one? We have agencies. Registered and trusted ones. Thank you. So should I get one? Yes. You just made my day. You said you were going to work. Okay, bye bye now. Bye. Baby, what's going on, man? Why are you crying again? My enemy. What? <sighs> Me? Your enemy? Come on, baby. I mean, I mean, I'm your friend, man. Damn. I live here. Your husband is my little nephew. Come on. Look, if he's at work, anything goes wrong in the house, I'm to blame. So I need to find out exactly what's going on, what the matter is to fix it right now. So can it for them, May. See how, see how Alan left me in the house all alone? What if I need something? Who will assist me? Oh, let me tell you something. I will do whatever it takes to assist you when he's at work. I'm in charge now. What do you want? I want chicken. Chicken. So, if I give you the chicken, you stop crying? Yes. For real? Yes. Wow. Are you sure? Yes. All right. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Just give me a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. Uncle Goofy, what's that? Yes! <laughs> what did you do? I got you the chicken. Chicken. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I went chicken hunting. Just for you. Stop crying and uh, have a cheerful heart, wear a <laughs> smile. Yeah, cut it up for me. Which one? That one or this one? No, definitely not a live one. This one. This? Yes. You alone? No, no, no. You join me. All right. So I'll take it back there. I'll cut it so up. So I keep this one for later? No, take it with you, please. You sure? Mm -hmm. You don't want to keep it with you? Mm -mm. I like to see that smile while you're not crying. I'll be sure to tell Alan about this comic relief. Comic. Mm -hmm. You are not such a bad person after all. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Uncle, what did you tell them? I told him 
I was from Africa, man. I'm an African man. Yeah, from the jungle. Yeah, I was king of the jungle. And African men are very powerful people. You know what I'm saying? And I roared at them like a lion. And I threatened them, you know what I'm saying? What? And they told them to go to hell. Oh, really? And I told them this African adage, okay, carry kind of low quose, and I'll leave you new. You know what I'm saying? Round and round you climb the peppered fruit, but you can climb it. Yeah, sure, you can climb the peppered fruit plant, and you can climb the garden egg plant. Wait, round and round the pepper, round and round the pepper fruits? Yeah, and then the garden eggplant. You can't climb the peppered fruit in the garden eggplant at all. Uncle, did you tell them this in your language or in English? Well, I told them in my Dalit, and I also told <laughs> them in English <laughs> language. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Uncle, you're so funny. I'm telling like, you. You are so funny. Uncle, what a disgusting. <laughs> Why are you eating it like that now, Uncle? Did, did you just crush the bone and the sound jarred my nerves? It is stop the baby too. Ah, Uncle, now this is this is not good. This is not. Nice. Well, we know sometimes you say I'm disgusting. Sometimes you say I'm funny, right? It's all good. Uncle, but it's not funny. It's not, it's not funny at all. Like, look at the baby. The baby is affected. No, you're crying up. You're crying out loud like a. Oh, Chichi Dodo bird. You know the Chichi Dodo bird? They eat faces and pretend they don't eat maggots. Uncle, did you just hey, eat listen. maggots? Now the Chichi Dodo bird. That's what they do. Don't go be like them. Uncle, you called me a maggot. No, I, I didn't. Must tell Alan. I must tell Alan because he puts me in your care. Look at how you're treating me. You're, you're, no, you're affecting my... You're, Uncle, what is this now? I'm okay. stuck. Listen, but I mean, eat the chicken. Eat the chicken alone. Yes, eat it alone. Eat everything and choke on it. You, and if I die, you're gonna cry most. You remember, I took your husband through school. Jesus. You better wish me well now. Go to places. Well, the chicken better go blazes too. I hate you. You go to blazes, you chicken. <laughs>gestures of love make a whole lot of difference. Hmm? You've brightened my day already. I was about to complain about your uncle, but I've forgiven him. <laughs> you already told me. He did? Yes. Is that why you got this for me? <laughs> well, it worked. I'm glad it did. The people are downstairs so the house help and the agent. That was fast. Of course, when it comes to my wife, whatever she wants, I attend to it fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll be down shortly. All right, dear. Thank you, baby, for this. You're welcome. We're waiting for you. Okay. My wife will soon be here. Yeah, Afternoon. <clears throat> She's the house help, right? Yes, sir. 
What's your name? Chisa. Chimbiko, sir. Excuse me. Chi what? Chimbiko. <coughs> I mean, that's an unusual name, but who knows? Might be a remarkable one. What do you think? All right, my wife. Okay, here she comes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, Alan. Hmm? Did you open the windows? There's this strong smell, smell I'm perceiving. <coughs> and I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe they are burning something down the street. No, it doesn't smell like smoke. Okay. So you're the new help, Chi, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Madam, you know my name already. Yeah, I heard you when I was by the stairs. Oh. Okay, so um, take your bag. Your room is just over there. Okay, ma'am. And please. Take a shower, yeah? Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, sir. So she was the one smelling all the while. Mr. Agent, don't you tell your girls to wash their bodies appropriately? Uh-uh. I'm sorry, ma'am. Like, I can't tolerate this, so I can't. I can't be inhaling this. I didn't want to say anything, so I don't offend her, but really, what's your name again? Sam. Sam. When you see her before you leave, tell her that she has to shower three times daily or anytime she sweats. Because I, I can't stand this. Eh? Okay. Uh, so, baby, have you guys come to an agreement? Yes. 45,000 monthly. 45,000. That sounds fair. Okay. Please excuse me. Baby, find a nice way here soon. Get him a glass of uh, water, juice or something. Thank you, sir. Kevin. Good right. morning, sir. I've brought your breakfast. Just leave it there. Yes, sir. And uh, let me tell you something, man. Next time you call me Godfrey, Uncle Godfrey, God, God don't. Free. Yeah, that's what it is. Not Godfred. Godfrey. Godfrey. All right? Yes, sir. And, um,. There's another thing, you know, three things you got to learn this morning, mm. actually. You're going to learn how to say Godfrey, Uncle Godfrey. You're going to learn, which is the second one, mm. how to say breakfast. Breakfast, mm. not breakfast. Breakfast. And then the third one is yes, sir. I? Yes, sir. Make sure you get all uh, locked up in your yes, yes. Sir, now this is I, this is I. And this is a very important thing, very vital, more important than what you just learned now, is that your madam is a very strange person. She's pregnant and she blabs. She has nags, she's bitchy, she has fangs and tongues like a snake, <sighs> like that. Whatever she does mm. to you, don't ever take it seriously. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. Do you understand what I said? Yes, sir. Good. Don't ever take anything she does or says to you, yes, sir. Seriously. Yeah. The other day she said I was smelly. Well, I told you you're gonna get a lot worse more than that. So be prepared for the arsenals. But let me tell you, just endure. Be patient. Yes, sir. Laugh it off. Forgive her and walk away. You're here to earn your salary, get paid, and find a new home. Behave yourself here. We need you here, all right? Yes, sir. 
she said something was smelling in the house, sir. She said that she gonna take my bath. I knew immediately that she was talking to me, sir. Well, that's not my business. That's her business and yours. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Step out. Uncle Godfrey, thank you for everything that you teach me. Thank you, sir. Uncle Godfrey. Why is the bread burnt? I thought that's how you, you like it. Huh? Tottenham. You left it in the baking machine for too long. Look at it. I don't like no, it. I don't Madam said that's how you like no, it. No, 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 no. The, the, the brownie, you, you left it. For... What? Are you kissing or hugging or what? No, no. Oh my God, you guys are kissing. No. Right? Eh, uh, Alan? That's what's happening here, right? No, no. Eh, Chichi? Stop, you're embarrassing me. Embarrassing what? I saw you. I saw you. So don't even try to lie. I saw you. Don't lie. Chichi, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> eh? Is this why you brought her to this house? <sighs> wow. Well done. That's what you're being to me. <coughs> now, hey. Hey? Eh? I can hear you all upstairs, man. Damn, what's the matter now? Please, ask your nephew who he was kissing just seconds ago. Ask him. What? Bro, is this for real? Who's kissing who? <laughs> huh? Honestly speaking, Uncle, I don't know what is happening to my wife. Nothing is happening to me. In fact, you are the one happening to me at this point. Eh, Alan, you shut your smelly mouth. You know, get out of my house. You, get go, out. go to your room now, go. Oh, so this is it. You guys are protecting her now, right? You're protecting the husband snatcher, right, uncle? Look at baby now. Baby is not beautiful anymore. Baby is carrying a baby. Alan, this is it. Right? Was, was this the plan? Eh, Alan? This is what you're doing to me now. No problem. I don't want to see you in this house again. Do you hear me? I don't want to see you in this house again. You irritate me. You disgust me! This is crazy. You don't take her fault. No. Maybe she's just trying to apologize. Apology will not solve this problem. It won't. Look at you. Look at how peaceful and calm you are. Had it been you are the one I married, I'm sure you wouldn't be stressing my life just because you're pregnant. My wife is making me hate her. She nags a lot. Mm. Now I get it. She's pregnant. So why didn't you tell me? Okay, um, so what could she be going through? Some kind of patron depression? No. This is not all about pregnancy. She has bad character. Whatever someone exhibits is rooted in he or she. Yes. Whoever steals has a atom, in fact, has stealing tendency, no matter the excuse they capitalize on. Well, you may have a point. I have a valid point. God, 
Please, can I spend the night here? I can manage your guest room, please. Of course. It's not like I can send you away. <laughs> it's fine, but first you need to text her. Send her a message and tell her that you're fine. You're just trying to get over what happened. I won't. Yes, you will. I won't. Come on, give me your phone. Alan, give me the phone. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, so I promised you dinner the last time. Let me go in and make the dinner for you. I'll be with you shortly, okay? I'll be with you shortly. What are you looking at? I'm looking at a good woman. <laughs> oh, please, come off it. <laughs> I'll be with you shortly. You better lighten up. Chimbiko! Yes, ma! Good morning, ma. Good morning, my dear. Is, is there something you want me to do for you? Mm -mm. Okay, ma. Chim? Yes, ma. I want to apologize for the way I spoke to you yesterday. I'm very sorry. This pregnancy is turning me into someone I don't recognize. It's okay, ma. I understand. I really do, ma. It's fine. Thank you. Yes, ma. Chi? Yes, ma. You know I wouldn't intentionally hurt your feelings, right? Yes, ma. And those accusations about you and my husband yesterday... I don't believe you had anything to do with him. No! Right? No! Ah, no, ma. No way. I know. It's just my mind playing tricks on me. You know, my doctors say I have prepartum depression and it's because of this mood swings. One minute I'm happy, the next I'm sad. The next time I'm irritated. Like, I don't understand. It's like a switch going on and off all the time. I don't like postpartum depression. No one talks about it. Like, Chi, I am constantly overwhelmed with all these emotions. You don't understand what I'm saying, right? No, no, not at all, ma. What I'm trying to say is that so far you don't hate me or get angry with me when I'm in one of my moods. I'm fine. No, ma. How, how, how will I get angry, ma? It's okay, ma. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. So what's for breakfast? Um, not, you know. You've not made anything. No, ma. But if there's something you want, I just rush out. Sorry, ma. Give me pap. No milk, no sugar. No milk, no sugar. Oh, just like that. Plain pap, chichi. Okay, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Okay. here. Thank you. Okay, enjoy your meal. Please come. I want you to stay with me. Okay. You want to talk? <clears throat> okay, let's talk. I listen, I don't nag. I mean, it's not like I have a boyfriend that I nag to. I'm beginning to like you more. The feeling is mutual, but just like nothing more. Is it a crime if there is something more? Sometimes there should be something more. Alan, you're married. Yes, I'm married, but my wife changed. 
But you said it's pregnancy. One thing is to identify the problem. Another thing is to tell yourself the truth that you can't undo the problem. My wife accused me of kissing our maid. To crown it all, she chased me out of the house. And yet I'm expected to focus, concentrate, and earn a living. Okay. Alan, I know that of all the workers in our office, you're closest to me. But I need to ask you this question. What do you want? Why did you come to me? It's simple. You make me happy. I want to spend more time with the one who makes me happy. And, and that's you. And what happens after she puts to bed? After this phase is over, you disappear? Sometimes you have to live in the moment without caring what happens next. And what happens when the other person develops feelings? While the other is busy living in the moment, what happens next? She's expected to live in the ashes of her memories? Alain, I don't think that's what I want for myself. Listen, memories are inevitable in life. We all have memories. Good, bad, school memories. Memories with our parents. That shouldn't be a problem here. Is that you? What are you still doing there, man? In a hotel room at this time? You're not there? Hey, listen, first, hear me out now. Your wife has been the most beautiful person I ever met since I started living with you. I swear to God, you should have seen the way she was talking with the housemaid. So, like, she was her daughter, and she was apologetic, and the way she spoke with me, I mean, um, everybody, I mean, uh, wow, it's, it's, uh, it's like a miracle. I think that, um, you know, those imbalanced hormones and DNAs have actually balanced or something. Yeah, it's working out. You get your ass here, boy. I don't care where you're at. If you're not the come back home now. She's coming, I'll talk to you later. Come home. All right. I didn't sleep in the hotel. I got myself a lover. What? What did you just say? Alan? Mm -hmm. Baby has chased me into the arms of another woman. The walls have ears. Look, she might be eavesdropping. God, Helen. Why aren't you going to stop this nonsense, man? What's a love and good idea of value in life? Damn. Helen. See who they talk. You will get picking for almost all the states in America with different women. Now you won't advise me. No, now you won't advise me now. So, you want to do what I did? It didn't pay off. You don't get it. 
Look, experience the best teacher. You better stop this nonsense now. I swear to God. Listen, Uncle, I'm a full grown man. A married one like that. I know what is wrong and I know what is right. My wife has lost it. Yes, she is doing everything wrong. No, no. Uncle, don't shush him. Let him continue talking. Hmm? Alan, so you've established that I'm doing everything wrong. I'm not doing anything good, right? I'm good for nothing. Okay. So you came back and rushed to your uncle so that he can hide you and I won't know your back, right? And he can give you useless wrong advice. Hmm? Alan, did I tell you? Here she goes again. You know what I told you about a repentant arm rubber who went to visit his neighbor's dog. He got there, the neighbor was looking out the window to see if the robber was still his dog, but he didn't. Let me tell you something, boy. I'm gonna leave you with your conqueror's uh, baby. Thank you. Thank you. God. Your problem is that you don't even know who is on your side. You don't want to know. Everybody is your enemy. Alan, the text message you sent me last night was the only reason baby and I could have some sleep. Eh? So please, no matter what I do or say, don't go and sleep in a hotel. Please. Please, baby. Huh. It's like you are in a good mood this morning. Yes, but... <clears throat> don't but. I got heart like it. Don't but. But what? What is it? But nothing. I just wanted to say that you and I should go outside and watch the sunrise. Like lovers do. Hmm? Please? It's Please. early in the morning. I need to go to work. Oh, it's just 10 minutes. Please, let's go. Please. Calm down. Baby's calling you. Let's go. Listen. Let's We've been here for the past 30 minutes. I'm tired. Baby, just wait a little longer. The sun is beautiful today. Can't you see? It's still rising. Okay, let it just get to the center of the sky. Hmm? I like the way it's warming my baby boy and I. Do you want me to lose my job? I'm supposed to be at work. Besides, what you are carrying is a girl, not a boy. It's a boy. I said it's a girl. I want girl, so it's a girl. It's a boy. I said it's a girl. Boy. Why are you nagging? Did you just call me a nag? Alan, you called me a nag. I can't help but wonder how a lovely lady like you turned into... A nag? A Complete what you wanted to say, a nag, right? I never said that. Hey, uh, listen, I'll call you back. Hey, uh, Arlen, you gotta go to work now. I'm gonna sit here for as long as your wife, baby, wants to sit in the sun and have a tan. If I get tired, I'll call on the housemaid to help me out. But I wanna help you out for your own sake. Go to work right now, I bro, or you're gonna lose your job. I want to sit with my husband. No, what you need is a company. And Uncle Geoffrey has offered to do that. Please. Uh -uh, let me go to work now. Do you want me to lose my job? Uncle, thank you. Okay. I'll try him. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> so, um, Geoffrey, mm -hmm. do you know any stories about the sun? Maybe something your mom told you? Meat? Fable, even lies, I don't care. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember back in the day, my mom, she told me that the sun is 93 million miles away from the earth 
Boy. Listen on the sun supports the moon at night. It makes it shine bright with all the stars shining bright. Like, you know, you ought to be shining bright. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my God. Um, do you want to hear another you word? Just, you are just saying you're babbling at this point. No. Honestly. All right, you listen. Are I want to tell you another one about, I mean, but a little bit of lies in it, though. You like it. No problem. Tell me. Um... Yes, tell him to wait for me. I'll be in my office in the next 20 minutes. Yes. What? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to hug you and say I'm sorry for the way I've been acting lately. Baby, honestly, I don't even know. I, I can't seem to control the way I react to things. And I think it's because of the baby. So, I just wanted to say sorry. I know I've been stressing you. And your uncle has been surprisingly sweet. Like, he keeps me company, he makes me laugh. Hmm. Are you serious? Mm hmm. I'm glad someone in this house can finally make you happy again. So you're off to work? Yes. Let me see. You need to I No, I was angry with you now. You are stressing me all the way. It's the baby I've told What is it? Why are you not sleeping? I had a nightmare. Is that why you're crying? Yes. In the dream, a, a masquerade was chasing me. He caught up to me and then rubbed my belly with his skin. If you were the one, wouldn't you cry? I won't cry. But it can never be me. I'm not the one pregnant here. Wow. Alan, wow. Wow, who impregnated me? Who impregnated me? Wasn't it you? Can't we sleep in peace tonight? Is this necessary? I thought they said you were happy while I was at work. Why the sudden change? Are you telling me my presence irritates you? Huh? Is that the signal? Oh well, enjoy. Alan, where are you going to? I'm going to sleep downstairs. Um, Alan, my waist is spinning me and you're the person that impregnated me, so just come back here and rub my waist. What's all this now? Am I, am I the only married man? Can't I have peace again? And when you're done with that, help me scratch my back. Let me go and sleep downstairs, please. And then come and scratch my back. I can't reach it. Even my tummy is itching me. I, 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 can't, I can't scratch it because if I scratch my belly now, I'll have stretch marks. And I know if I have stretch marks, I'll learn your love for me will just die. It will just die flat. Flat and you leave me. Nobody can trust men again. And then come and rub my waist too. Just come and rub it now. I had a stressful day at work. Can't I have peace? Do you know the stress I'm going through? Please just come and rub my waist now, now. Come and rub my waist, please. What's that? Where am I rubbing? And then I said something and you've not responded. I said that your love for me would die flat. You've not said anything. Are you ignoring me? No. So say something. Something. What? 
You said I should say something. I said something. Alan, you're now you're 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 mocking me now. Alan, I'm a clown to you now. You're mocking me. Wow. Wow. Wow, baby, baby, you've suffered. Alan, I'm a clown, right? No problem. No problem. Uh, since I'm the one that impregnated myself, no problem. I'm a clown to you. No problem. Make fun of me. Like, just, 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 I'm sure I'm a burden to you in this house. No problem, I'll leave this house for you. Chi Chi! Chi Chi! Madam! Yes, ma. Um, join me outside, I want to watch the moon. But it's not a moonlight night, ma. Then I'll watch the clouds roll by. Okay, ma. Chi Chi, I know this isn't your work. It's my husband that should be joining me to do this, but when I tell him to do anything, he complains. He just complains and complains and complains. Mm -hmm. And if I complain about him complaining too much, he says I'm the one complaining too much. Mm. What am I even saying? <sighs> Chichi, ma? did you shower? Yeah. Why are you smelling like this? I, ju I just showered, ma. <laughs> even your breath. Like, don't you brush in this house? My God. Sorry, ma. Like, what is going on here? Did you eat a giri or something? What's going on in this house? I'm, I'm, I'm irritated at this point. Sorry, ma. Let's go, Joe. Ah. Everyone doing this to me today, even the moon. Sorry, ma. Maybe we should try tomorrow. Remove your hand from your mouth when you're talking to me. What is all this? You see that said my mouth is smelling like those giddy ma. It's smelling shit. Sorry, ma. Hi, God. I don't, I don't like this. Hey, do you know, Chichi? The other day, Godfrey ate my chicken. Hey. Just because I didn't want to eat the chicken at that point, he ate it. Like, couldn't he put it in the fridge? Or use his sense to know that, oh, maybe she doesn't want to eat it now. She'll want to eat it later. No. Couldn't he do that? Sorry. Did the fridge walk out of the house? Sorry, sorry. Ha! Sorry, sorry. Godfrey is so rude, so selfish, so greedy. I've never seen anybody like that. Sorry, man. Sorry. Ha! God. Sorry. What is this sorry every time, Chichi? Sorry, sorry. So What is sorry? What is sorry? Ha! I won't. Ha! Let me pursue a wound when they tell sorry. Ah! I'm tired of all I'm just tired. Huh? Everybody's just treating me like rubbish in this house. See? Chichi, do you know what to do for me? Mm. Just go to the kitchen. You see that chicken that Godfrey ate? Prepare it for me. Then jollof fries, just warm it and let it burn on that. Do you understand? Then scoop that burnt one for me. You know, bottom pot jollof fries, one that's burnt a bit. Yes, scoop it for me with the chicken. Then give me. That's what I want to eat this night. Thank you. Please hurry. Auntie, hmm? you just said Uncle Godfrey, Godfrey ate that rice and chicken. Uh -huh. So? He has eaten it. There's no rice and chicken if he has eaten it. So, ah. Sorry. Ah. Oh God, what is all this now? Why are you guys doing this to me in this house? I want that chicken, I want it with you. What is this now? I can prepare another thing. I don't want another thing, I said I want that. Uh -uh. No husband, no, no, no food, no chicken, nothing. Nothing, nobody likes me in this house. People are treating me like rubbish. Uh -huh. Like rubbish. No, don't say, ah, ma, no, no, sorry. No problem. Ma. Do, do anyhow, just treat me anyhow in this house. I'm tired of all of you. I'm tired of my husband. I'm tired of you, Chichi. Just go, go. Chichi, go. Chichi, go. You know you're smelling. Go. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, okay, there's no problem. Right. 
Alan. What? What? Where are you going to? Work, of course. Work? On a Saturday? Since when do you work on Saturdays? Are you my manager? Answer me. Do you have my work schedule? I'm going to work and that's fine. I hope this is not a ploy for you to leave the house and stay away from me. I am not ready for your unnecessary drama this morning. Thank you, Ma. Mm -hmm. ah, let's see. It's, it's sweet, Ma. Chichi, what is this? It's, it's Did you cook this stew at all? Yes, Ma. Sorry. It's so raw. Sorry. Please take it away. Take it away. I'm sorry. Ma. Throw it away. Yes, Ma. Ah! And get me bananas to eat or something. Sorry. Appetite this morning. Ah. Hey, Chichi, what are you doing? I'm sorry, ma. You, you said I should go and throw the food away. Did I tell? Did I tell you to trash it in the bin? I'm sorry, ma. Oh my god. Chichi, so rats are going to eat my food. No, eh? No, you said throw it away. That... Rats are going to eat my food, Chichi. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. At least if you had kept it. I'm talking to you, keep the thing on the floor. At least a hungry dog would have walked by and eaten this food. I'm sorry, ma. Huh? You always like you come from the village, you come from the village, your village is your village that don't you know that a pregnant woman is supposed to feed feed animals? Okay. It's a blessing to her unborn child. I'm so sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. So, Chichi, you want to cost my child? Ah, no, no, Chichi, you want to cost my child? No. I'm so sorry, ma. I'm sorry, ma. Ma, let me, let me sing and dance for you, ma. There's, there's this song we used to sing in my village. You will like it. Sing, Kerereke, um, Ma, if I say Kerereke, you have to say Obi. Oh. oh. Chichi, now you're commanding me. No, I have to say what? No, ma, no. That, that's the only way we can enjoy it, ma. That, that's how we do it in my village, ma. Sorry, ma. We oh, yeah, are sing, sing. Okay. Kereke, 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 Get it, 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 get it,
<sighs> ah, my mm. God. Hey, you... put on this AC for me. Yes, ma. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling better. Okay. Shall I don't cost my child, though. Then no, ah, no. Thank you, ma. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Mm -hmm. We'll do it another day, ma. No problem. Thank you, ma. AC. <laughs> uh, yes, ma. Lipstick on. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want more. Mm. <laughs> Are you happy? Yes, because I am. Mm -hmm. Are you into it? <laughs> You're such a beauty. Oh, no, you're making me shy. <laughs> my way to do this research got this results and they're amazing you should hear them but listen you just relax because this is the solution actually I mean um here I got this out of Google I had to go Google it and um, something that goes like this it says prenatal or pre pregnant depression during pregnancy causes extreme sadness, anxiety, fatigue, weariness, trouble sleeping, you know, that's like insomnia. It is also known as baby blues and is caused by hormonal fluctuations. This blood hormones when they fluctuate in the veins and the body, you know, in the system. It is a mood disorder. It's a mood disorder that affects 10% of women during pregnancy. The extent at which it affects those women, we don't know. It depends on their hormonal fluctuations or their DNAs, you know. And it makes their libido a bit low, they feel inadequate, they have low self-esteem. And you know, as a terrorist, a terrorist, a pregnant women should focus on their mental health as well as their physical health. That's a treatment, okay. Modes of treatment are available. And a research has shown that depressive moods occur mostly in the first three months. That's uh, when a woman's first oh, pregnant. Oh, that's pretty pretty crazy. Because this is exactly what's happening to me. Oh, come on, man. You've you started a again. mental condition. Oh, just read it and it's, calm down, I'm, I'm baby. I'm going mad. You're not going mad. I am. You are not. Stop it and read this thing. I went out of my way to get a solution for you. You should be glad. And stop thinking negative. What's wrong with you, man? It says, perinatal depression is also characterized by feelings of hopelessness, emptiness, irritability, excessive crying. Oh my God. Difficulty connecting with your partner. This, this is me. This is all me. Oh my God. It says, God. cognitive behavioral therapy can help you discover how to react to situations in a more positive way. How can I be positive? What's there is a positive way in which means there's a solution for you. You should be glad. Uncle, I'm running mad. What don't if you I understand? Hate... I'm going mad. Uh, you're not going mad. I'm you going don't understand. Mad. Listen, baby, you don't understand. <sighs> oh my god. I'm mad. So Uncle, you're saying I'm mad. So that's that's why all these things have been happening to me. This I'm mad. Oh my god, how am I supposed to think positive? Think positive, how? <laughs> so, so 
So, baby, you are mad. As you're standing here, you are actually mad. You're mad. What is all this? <laughs> What's going on, man? Look what. Damn. Damn. You're not going, man. Don't listen to what people tell you. Oh, God, you got me scared. Hey, think about that beautiful baby in here. That baby makes a beautiful mom like you. Cool, calm, collected. Hmm? What would you do when you did this? Yeah. I know. My baby needs me. Yep. Heal and healthy. Not just only your baby. I need you. Your husband needs you. Everybody else who knows you needs you. And even some who don't. You need to work your way through this unusual moves and uh, have a little bit of self-control. Pull yourself together, okay? Uh, you're, you're all right. I mean, you're just overreacting. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, it's a healing process. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I hope so. Yeah. Okay? Don't worry about it. Oh, all right. Well, <clears throat> your wife needs you. Uncle, yeah. I'm impressed. bad situation out here and you know all your wife needs right now is pampering you know you need to pet her you know spoil her you know pet her damn you know how to do it endure with her be patient with her tell her you love her you want to Understand every inch of her unusual moods and that you would not be impatient with her and you would not scold her, you know, that you would go all the way with her. Tell her how much you love her. Damn. You're a playboy. Look. Go through those bad moods and promise her that you love her and that you wouldn't get upset no matter what she does or whatever she says. All right? Bro, that's for real, man. I'm telling you. Especially now that we got her in a more cheerful mood as time passes by. Oh, you got me? Yes. That's the way it is. And I bet you, you'll be feeling much better yourself. <clears throat> you got me? Hmm. Baby, hmm. I'm very sure you're tying my hair very well. Yes, sir. You should have done this when I'm going out. So, where is it written that my wife is supposed to look pretty only when she's going out? I want you to be looking pretty even while you are asleep. Wait. Alan, hmm? are you trying to say that I always look ugly or something? Are they Chris? Uh-uh. 
Mm. But you just said that your tying my hair is now making me beautiful. No, my point is you're supposed to get your hair done while at home, not only when you're going out. I hear you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll open a beauty shop just there. Mm. Right by the corner there. Yes. So, and I'll be your only customer. So what will be the name of the beauty shop? Mm, let's see. Babe. Babe Balen, like for baby and Alan, Balen Beauty. <laughs> no, it sounds, it sounds somehow. Uh, Alan B. No, Albe, Albe. Albe. This, this name is not. Albe. Albe, okay. Baby Al, oh. baby Al. Baby Al. Baby Al. Ah, that's not like kids. Baby Al. Your only customer is here. <laughs> <laughs> baby Al Beauty Shop. Yes. Baby, baby Al. Al. So I can look beautiful in your house every day. All right? day, every day, baby. Mm. In the morning, I walk with four feet. In the afternoon, I walk with two feet. In the evening, I walk with three feet. Wait, four feet in, in the, the morning, morning two, two in the afternoon. afternoon, three evening. Ha. Chuchu, that's a monster now. No, the monster. Yes. That's why it's close to in this room, just think well. Chuchu, are you the monster? No. No, tell me now. <laughs> okay, no, wait, let me think, let me think. Okay. The answer is in this room. It's okay. close to you. Mm. Close to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Please, what is it? Okay. Why mm. is one? <laughs> the answer is a human being. When you said How? you the most times, I thought you wanted to say human being. How is it a human being? Okay, you know when we're small, when you crawl, four, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, two feet are done. You're walking with your two feet. And in the evening, when we get old, <laughs> and we're using a walking stick. I hear you. Yes. Logic in my master. Village, okay. Every old man is walking with a walking stick. Serious. Is that a good thing? It's old age. Okay. <laughs> no problem. I understand your logic. So, next question. I'm ready this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, there's a land. Okay. It's a land. And on this land, there's a small stream, small stream more. And then in this small stream, there's a big fish. But that's the only fish there, very big. And then surrounding this land and, wall and stream are rocks. They're up to 32. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> Land, stream, stream a rock, big fish, fish, only one, mm -hmm. and, and 32. 32 rocks. Why is it 32? Why is it? That's, it. That's how many there are. The answer is very close to you. This one is really, really close to you. Is it a chandelier with these stones? Because at this point, <laughs> I don't... Mama, okay, no, where let me... is this Okay, let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Chuchu, I don't know. Tell me. This one is simple. Tell me. Okay. The answer is your mouth. That's the, yes. How? The land. The stream is your saliva. And then the big fish is the talk. And then the rocks. The rocks. What did you eat this morning? Because <laughs> what kind of rubbish logic you is that? that? The teeth. They are 32 teeth, man. <laughs> And you learnt all this from your grandfather? Yes, yeah, so in my village, every evening, everybody will come out. There will be different, different... Oh. Your granddad is a genius. Clap yeah, for yourself. So. <laughs> mm. Is he still alive? Oh, Don't be sad. I'm sure he died at a ripe old age. Right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Really Chuchu, don't be sad, though. You can't be sad near me. You know what happens. <laughs> Mine is like this. <laughs> off, on, off, on. Should I give you my daughter's number? No, ma. 
Thank you. <laughs> Uh -huh, I like that. Oh, sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, ma, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Better. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Alan, you cannot leave now. Why did you awaken, my love? And now you have my interest. All of a sudden, your wife has changed. You found a solution to her problem. Are you joking? Did I not want you to leave me alone? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. We are now walking. My wife is now fine. And what was I to you? A distraction? A full-grown, valuable woman, now a mere distraction to you? No way, Alan. Your wife must hear this. Excuse me. Are you threatening me? Oh, yes, I am. I'm threatening you, Alan. How could you do this? Did I not tell you that I didn't have a boyfriend? I, I was taking my time because I know how emotional I get when, when I'm into someone. How could you do this? I'm sorry, okay? Let's handle this maturely. Please, leave my wife out of this. I promise you, Alan, you will regret this. You are going to regret this. You can get out when you're done. Uncle, I don't even know how I got myself into this. What do I do now? You don't know. Now you know. And that's a good lesson for you to learn from, man. Damn. Yeah. I mean, you got to have to learn how to have some self-control. You learn how to take your actions slowly and coordinates right. And how to make the right decisions. You should never be in a haste. Look. You can't hang your fingers up to dry. You've got to learn how not to be in a hurry to lick in those fingers, like finger licking chicken fingers, you know. You take it easy, you observe the finger, you know if it's the thumb or the forefinger, you know, you look at it again, you know where the, the sauce is, you know, you just take your time before you start licking it. Uncle, you are just talking and talking and talking. I want solution. Oh, talking and talking and talking. Out of experience, little bro. You get it? Uncle, you keep saying experience, experience. Your experience has nothing to do with what we are saying. Has your experience helped me in any way? No. So slow down with this your experience. Oh, yeah? experience. Hey, let me ask you one thing right now, Alan. What if your wife finds out about all this mess? You look. Especially now that she's in a better mood. You want to ruin what we all started? Uncle, you are still bringing up issues. What I want is solution. Huh? Let me tell you, Ellen, that's the only solution that I got right here to let you know right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, you get down on your knees over there. You beg her, please. You kiss her all over. You cry to her like a little baby. You know what I'm saying? And then you kiss her from her feet to her head. Kiss her all over the back of her ears and everything. And then you make love, sweetheart love to her. You know what I'm saying? She, she'll feel you, man. Before you say your goodbyes, that's the best way to say goodbye to her. You know what I'm saying? What? It's obvious you have no solution to my problem. I will suck myself out. Oh, God. Six million naira or your wife hears about us. My friend, are you trying to blackmail me? Are you trying to blackmail me? Yes, Arlen. 
don't even argue with me. One more word from you and I'm making it 10 million naira. Try something else because it won't work. Yes. Uh -uh. What's your problem? It's not like you're even pregnant for me. Did we date? No. We only did it once. Besides, I did it in my weakest, vulnerable state. You see, uh, you're acting like a saint, but truth be told, you are a devil. What? You are a devil, Ekwensu. Alan, you call me a devil? You are worse than a devil. You came to me acting all helpless as if you were going to drop that any minute. All the while you were aiming for my VJ. And then you finally have it. All of a sudden, your wife is no longer a raving, nagging lunatic. No, 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 hold on. Don't you ever call my wife a raving lunatic again. Don't. Okay? It's not like we dated now. I will not give you shishi. I will not give you a shim bam. I rather... Baby. Baby. It's a prank. It, it's a prank. Please, it's a prank. Baby. Baby. Hello? Alan. Hello? Alan. So my brother, that was how I almost lost everything. Yes, my wife delivered a premature baby. The baby died. I hated my wife because I felt she was nagging. Not knowing that she was nagging as a result of pregnancy. So from what you told me, your wife is passing through same freeze. It's a changing time, so don't hate her. Show her love, affection, pet her more, buy her gifts. So that in the end, you will have your wife and your home intact after she might have put to bed. Wow. It's a pregnant sign. I was even thinking my wife has come mad, you know. <laughs> so, man, so grateful about this story. This is an eye-opening story. You know. You see why it's good to open up to a trusted friend rather than suffering in silence? Of course. A problem shared is half solved. That's true. Yeah, so please, take note. Yes. Your wife is normal, okay? I so much appreciate this story. It's so, it means so much to me. Okay. Work time is over. Go home. On your way home, buy her a gift, okay? Okay. She'll be fine once she puts to bed. Trust me. Wow. I'm telling you this out of experience. I'm very grateful for this eye opening story, brother. <laughs> really appreciate it. All of my brother. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, sir. Love. Mm. Come on now, eh? Come on, eh? It's easy. Sorry. I finally found out that uh, it's not your fault. I confided in a friend of his today and he explained to me quite everything that's happening. Um, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you all this while. Not me, it's not your fault. Please forgive me. I got this gift for you. For you to know, from my heart. Please. Thank you.